I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent example on composition of functions. In this video, we will learn how to create multiple composite functions. The question here is, if f of x equals to x over x plus 1 and f n plus 1 equals to f 0 composed with f of n for n equals to 0, 1, 2, find and so on find the formula for f and x so composite function when the composition like this is done n number of times that is what it means so basically it means that uh, the first function which you get by composition could be written as f of f1 of x as equals to f of itself so function of function itself right so so that is the composition which you're looking for so that is kind of composition of the function which is which is limited right, f0 and the initial function given to us is x over x plus 1 so I could write this as x over x plus 1 you get the idea now so the composition of this is we'll replace x with that part right so what I get here is in the numerator I get x over x plus 1 and in the denominator I'll replace x with x over x plus 1 plus 1 so so that is the first composition of composition of function by itself do you get the idea right so so f n plus 1 so if I write n equals to 0 right so I'm writing n equals to 0 so if I write to start with I'm writing n equals to 0 right so n is 0 then it becomes 0 plus 1 so 0 plus 1 is 1 correct so you get f0 of f0 do you get the idea so here we have used n equals to 0 so I hope now it is absolutely clear how I got my equation right now we can actually simplify this equation so to simplify we can multiply both numerator and denominator by x plus 1 so we get x here divided by when I multiply this by x plus 1 I get x plus 1 time x plus 1 correct so we can now combine them so we get x over 2x plus 1 so that is the simplified form uh, however this becomes f1x do you get the idea right now we will substitute n equals to 2 right so we'll substitute n equals to i mean 1 and see what do we get so when i substitute n equals to 1 here right so i get uh, i mean i'll use f1 this time so when I use 1 here, then I will combine it with the previous term, correct? So what do I get? F, I, f of 2, I get as equals to f of 0 of f of 1. You get the idea, right? So that is what it is. So when I substitute 1 here, I get f of 0 of f of 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2, correct? 1 plus 1 is 2. So I get f of 2x, okay? So I'm substituting n as 1. So when I write 1 here, 1 plus 1 is 2. That's how you get 0 of f of 1. Now, what is f of 1? f of 1 is what we calculated. So we'll use this. So we have f of 0 of, uh, let me write in a different thing, x over 2x plus 1, correct? So that is what my f of 1 is, correct? So I'll substitute that in the original equation, correct? So this gives us, instead of x, I'm going to write x over 2x plus 1 divided by, instead of x, I'm writing x over 2x plus 1 plus 1. This time to simplify, I'll multiply both numerator denominator by 2x plus 1. So I'll get x over x plus 2x plus 1. So that gives me x over 2x plus 1 is 3x. Do you see the 3x plus 1? Got the idea, right? So we get that for x over 3x plus 1 for f2. Now let me substitute n equals to, let me give more room here, n equals to 2, right? In that case, so I'm writing 2 here. So what do I get? I get, let me rewrite 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1, which is f3, right? And then f of 0 of f of 2 got the idea is that okay clear so i'm substituting n as 2 now 2 plus 1 3 at this time i'm not writing uh, 3 directly i'm just writing like this i hope that helps 
So we have f of 0 of f of 2. f of 2 is this function. So this is f of 2, right? So this is equals to f of 2, right? So we'll write this function here. x over 3x plus 1. You get the idea, right? f of x over 3x plus 1 will replace, this is f of x, right? So in fact, I should have written f of x, f 0 x, correct. Okay. Now I think, yeah, that was a mistake. Okay. Now let's continue with this. So what we have here is x will be now replaced by x over 3x plus 1. So I, I get x over 3x plus 1 divided by this x by x over 3x plus 1 plus 1. Now we are multiplying both by 3x plus 1. Let me show you that part also. So we multiply numerator by 3x plus 1 and denominator also by 3x plus 1. Every term, okay. So when you multiply, there they cancel out. So you're left with x in the numerator. That's how we get x, correct? In the denominator, this part they cancel out, so we get only x plus 1 times 3x plus 1. So 1 times 3x plus 1. So now we combine these terms and get x. 3x plus x is 4x plus 1. You get the idea, right? So likewise, we can continue the series. So what do you get here? So when you continue, this is f of 3, right? So, so if you continue like this, what will be f of n, right? That is what we're trying to figure out. What is going to be f of n? So f of n will be equal to, this is f3, right? So when it is 3, uh, you, get, you get 4, correct? So when it is n, what do you get? You get one more. So f of n, when you continue the series, so you have f of f of n minus 1, correct? And when you continue, you should be getting n plus 1 here instead of 4, correct? So what you get here is x over n plus 1 times x plus 1. You get the idea. So if you extend the series, that is how we are going to get our results. So so that is that is how you can do such questions. So it's kind of a method of induction which we have adopted here. And then we have correlated our result with the previous results and we can now deduct that the solution to this question should be this, correct? So if it was f of 1, then we get 2 here. For 2, we get 3. That means 1 more than 2. For 3, we got 4. So for n, n plus 1 times x plus 1. I hope that is clear. Thank you and all the best.